Hey traders, it's Steve from Stock Index Trading Room. I hope this finds you happy and healthy and safe and prosperous and uh, reaching your trading goals. In this video that's going to be posted to our YouTube channel, where I'm going to show you uh, Thursday and Friday, the 27th and 28th of April, the ultra maps, smart ultra maps that we use in our room. I'm going to show you one of several features that we use. I'm going to actually show you the simplest feature that we use in a room each day to find an advantage in the market. If you like our work, please go to our YouTube channel, subscribe and like, and that way you'll be notified of uh, future postings that we do. And, and uh, you know, who knows, there might be something that we put in the future, hopefully near future, that will turn your trading around. So we're going to look at the Smart Ultra Map. And I was going to do it for Thursday was uh, our best map in quite a while. And I'll show you that. But then Friday was equally as good. So I did one for Thursday and, and discarded it. And now I'll put both days. And I'm going to go fast through this. Uh, this won't mean anything. This won't have a lot of meaning to you. Uh, unless you come to the room and uh, spend a bit of time with us and learn how to use it. If you've never read this, please pause the video, do so, and then come back if you want more detail about how we use. Uh, we, we have actually two maps. There are several. We have two that we use on a daily basis. Uh, go to our YouTube channel, search market mapping, and you'll find it again. We would like for you to uh, we'd like for you to uh, subscribe, and that way you'll get uh notifications now this is greek or you know chinese or whatever this is a language that traders don't understand and i get that i didn't for months it was like what and you know as uh things developed and unfolded characteristics of this map came out and we use it in a room uh it's a gps uh road map it's not a crystal ball uh, but it, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to show you two days that um, the last two days that we use the map and how we use it. And I'm only, we use, we read vertically up and down, horizontally left and right. And all of these numbers and basically the relationship of one number to other numbers give us power and strength in our trading. I'm just going to show you one feature that we use. Now uh, the periods run A through M. And in minus one, minus two, this is the Globex session up to the U.S. Open. Between 9.30 and 10, we have what we call A period. Uh, you probably know most super large accounts, day trading accounts, are trading 30-minute bars. And that may be why you're getting chopped up. We don't trade 30-minute bars, but we use the probability if the future's like the past and if it's not, we don't have a chance to do anything in trading. But if the future is more like the past rather than less like the past, then, uh, you know, we stand a fighting chance. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, bring notice to these red, these super uh, red zeros, 11%, 22%, uh, big boxes that are going vertically down. And we're going to start with A period. That's the market opens in A period. And we're going to go left. And where do we find the first either support or resistance? And it would be minus four. Okay. 10, 939, 838. So between 730 and 8, that period, we look to be super strong support and resistance. Now we still have to trade. We still have to use common sense in our trading. But this is telling me that on the open, I want to pay attention to minus four and see what the market's doing to that. And do I have an indication that something's going to happen in a perfect world? In my opinion, this is my opinion. This is what I like personally. I like for the market to actually open in minus four. And then the takeout one way or the other of that gives us a, a highly, highly reliable direction of trading. The second thing I look for is I look for uh, this big line and it's a minus one, but A period has no real, it's a coin flip. B period is 88% uh, 
for this to be supporter resistant, 88% likely. And I just, the terminology that I usually see on the next chart is that B period will trade away from minus one 88% of the time. A period will trade away from minus four 90, uh, 89% of the time. Okay. So that's all I'm going to show you. We have uh, some real strong stuff going sideways with long green uh, runs and things like that. So um, here's Friday. And I, this is, we don't use this in the room. This is mine. Uh, but I've got, uh, what, 10 minute bars. So I can see the periods. And then we have our software marks each 30 minute period and labels it just as our maps do. So we saw on our map that we're looking for A to trade away from minus four, B to trade away from minus one. A away from minus four, B away from minus one. So here's minus four, and I've got it boxed in with these two pink lines. I just drew horizontally across it, okay? And then here's minus one for B period. Well, A period opens above this. So we're, we're pretty jazzed about the market going up. Okay, B period uh, away from minus one. We don't use that, that's not relevant, okay? It's down here, but it's a strong probability. And I, I show everything. I'm not here to try to only show you the good stuff or try to deceive you. Our map says A for minus four, B for minus one. And uh, so anyway, we had this big long run. And then of course, Friday afternoon, if you've been in our room or followed our work, you know, the fundamental reason uh, this is uh, just, this is Friday. This is just what Friday looks like pretty much every Friday. So uh, that was Friday, A away from minus one, which it did and B to continue on. And now let's look at, uh, let's look, I'm going to scroll this over a little bit and I'm going to show you everybody in the room that uses the maps were just sideways when the market, when, when we opened the room on Thursday and we went through this, let me blow this up. I can do that. Keep it on the, keep it on the screen. Uh, and uh, I'll show you why. So here's a period and we trace it over and we look again, minus four, huh? Is that a pattern? Maybe B period. 20% to trade away from minus one. Okay, now these numbers will slide some. Okay, so don't just write that down and do that because what we do, what Rob does with this is uh, it's a long look at the past so that we will not be jagged, we'll be smooth in our information. So anyway, we're looking for A away from minus four, B away from uh for minus two, this is Thursday. That's the fourth trading day of the week. Now, here's what we were excited about. You can start to look fairly quickly into the market and this is very unusual. Normally, you will see a two or three period trend that it calls up to 80, 90% of the time. And then you'll see an interruption. Now, the market doesn't always reverse here. When we're, when we're riding over and we get you know really strong resistance, and then immediately behind it we get strong trending numbers. If these were eight or nine, we would read that as this: the market comes into here, hits this, and then reverses ninety percent of the time. So we know that well in advance of what's going on. But we can start tracking the market throughout the day on Thursdays. And we can see there's really no big interruption of what's going on. There's a little bit here in J. If we go all the way back, if we we're going to trade it one direction all day long. But, it, you know, as we get down into uh, E, maybe we don't have anything that's 50 percent or lower that the market is going to continue. We get down IJKL, all of this tells us that we're going to finish strong whichever way we're trading we have to use our uh, common sense in trading but whichever way we're trading uh, we're going to continue so let's look at thursday a away from minus four b away from minus two c away from minus one uh oh 
here, let me show you how we do this. A away from minus four. All right, so we opened inside. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Here's the first bar. We opened below and we started going up. We tested it several times. Take off. Okay. Uh, B away from minus two. Where is minus two? It's right here. So B period is going to trade away from minus two, right? C is going to trade away from minus one. D period came down and tried to touch our minus one. It was not able to do that. Another thing that we look at, if we see this big, long, we call this a tomato box, going down all day long, this tends to be either support or resistance for the entire day. We've even made claims, comments, not claims, that when we see a, a situation like this and we clear one of these periods, the low or the high is in the market at a 90% probability. That's pretty cool to know. So anyway, you can see this minus one area that had all of those, uh, all of those that big, long, elongated tomato box. D came down and almost touched minus one. I'll show you on a room chart in a second. And then went up and then, you know, we had that, um, we had that super high probability of continuation, especially in the afternoon. So you could just bite off how much, the, you know, that's like 50 points. You can bite off whatever you would want to with that. As the market, our maps said on Thursday, and you could write this down. On Thursday, once a trend gets established, it tends to continue on and on and on. So uh, what, how do we, how do we trade that? Okay, here are some signals. Here are some signals that we, uh, this was in another video uh, above and below, just a real simple signal. And you can look at that in on our YouTube channel if you like. Um, we're trading away from minus four, right? So let's scroll over and here's the top, here's the bottom. We start today with yellow lines and once we get established, I change it to a red line, but we're gonna trade away as long as we're above, we're going to trade away from this red line at a 90% probability. So uh, you might have liked to have known that and gotten involved in some of that. That would have been cool. This was Friday. And uh, we, let's go look at Thursday right quick. I think I've got enough on here. Yeah, we've got enough on here. And here is, uh, here's our uh, minus one high that we want to trade away from. B trades away from minus one, 90%. Remember, we showed you that. So B period comes in here, tries to take it out, tries to take it out, can't. And we're keen. Now, we've got some signals in the room that we mark for our members. We were you know, looking for that. We were looking for that. We were looking for this. And you see our red line holds here. It wants to come and test it and it can't. And then we had Thursday, E through L as uh, trending. So here's E, here's L. Now this red line is from Friday. But so our maps were saying from this area, to this area was going to be a trend. And there it is. So just just um just just uh as exactly as the map said it would be. Now let me talk about this. It's not a crystal ball, it's a roadmap. What this does is prepare us to look for elongated moves in a direction that we can take advantage of with confidence. That's all. That's all that it's saying. So uh, these were the super maps on uh, super maps for uh, 27th and 28th of uh, April. If you want more information, uh, visit our website, stuckindextradingroom.com. If you need to ask questions, stuckindextradingroom at gmail or support at stuckindextradingroom will get an email to me. We'll answer those on a timely basis. If this looks like something you would like to learn, we teach this every day in a room. If you would like to learn, 
uh, come and join us and uh, we'll show you how our members are taking advantage of these mapping forecasting at 80, 85, 90% probability if the future's like the past. If it's not, we don't have hope. If it is, then let's take advantage of it. So on behalf of Rob Mitchell, World Cup trading champion and master coder, system developer and trader, and all the world-class members in the Psych Index Trading Room, I'm Steve, hoping that you either are now or soon will be reaching all of your trading goals.